Hello everybody, welcome to another Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide, the randomizer for Final Fantasy III from the uh, Super Nintendo version. I'm Sir Wolf, I'm joined by my fellow uh, Division mate, uh, Turdsman. How you doing, bud? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, looking forward to uh, watching these finals. Yep, we are in the, I believe it's actually the semi-finals, because I think the oh, final finals is a four is a four-way matchup. Uh, but this, I believe, is a semi-final. This is a uh, match number two for the Moogle's first uh, tournament, the MFT. Uh, cool thing about this tournament is it's kind of an introduction to uh, how to run Final Fantasy VI The Worlds Collide randomizer and introduction to how tournaments work at the same time because these guys throughout the tournament had uh, helpers to uh, coach them throughout the tournament. That's right. Uh, it was a... a wonderful idea i think uh to help uh, new players kind of figure out all the little uh, intricate details uh, all the tiny little skips uh you know ways to save uh, seconds here and there uh so they were and they were coached uh by veterans uh, throughout the entire time uh now however they have to uh, put all that knowledge to the test and uh, you know see if they can't uh keep all of that together and, and get through uh, just on their own all by themselves that's right they have no coaching <laughs> no net but underneath them they are on their own and since this is a semi-final one person moves on one person while well, they stay home and keep playing video games uh we do have somebody in the chat it's putski uh they actually won the match first match round so they are moving on to the final so one of these cats will be moving on to join them and speaking of cats we do have ceiling cat lurking in the background as always doing the tracking and franklin shout out to them for helping us with the restream we have about a 60 second call here always nice uh to have these guys work in the background uh, ceiling cat is fantastic one of the the hardest workers in the community and franklin uh pulling tons of levers in the background keeping everything uh, fresh and original uh yeah really really happy to be working with these people yep or not i know uh now they pretty much the if you played uh the ultras league or seen ultras league taken uh form and shape this is pretty much the same it's six characters nine espers the skip is nine characters or 12 espers they do get a little extra item if they do perform in the opera and some other things there's other little tidbits that help them uh, make this a little easier. Plus, the scaling of this uh, seat set is a little bit easier, too. Uh, that's, that's right. They tend to find a little bit more offense as well. Uh, Ultima is put back in um, multiple uh, summons. It's fantastic. Uh, all sorts of little little goodies that you kind of take for granted not being there in the standard leagues. And we're off and running like a thundering herd of Basset Hounds. We got Edgar, Gao, and Mog. Not too bad. A couple of uh, natural jumpers. Gao is special because he actually has two abilities. It will be health and morph. That's uh, not believe, too terrible. Uh, Mog has lore. Grand Train. There it is. 71 right. magic power. So not going to be able to use it for a little bit. And I missed Edgar's. Uh, he had decent ability too, I think. I think he had jump? Or is that my thinking of Mog? Uh, Mog has lore. Okay, then I think Edgar if, has jump. Oh, if Edgar has jump, that is amazing. Yeah, right? He is a natural jumper. Uh, both Mog and him can use spears. Uh, so, yeah. And immediately oh. going, wow. <laughs> With throw, no less. Very nice. All right, so, let's go. Great. Great start abilities. Better than we had our last race, our uh, first match race. Uh, also finding a cornet, which is a and very good... Shield. Oh, excuse magical. me. Ooh, ice shield? Yep, find an ice shield upstairs in uh, Figaro Castle. Also, the note, since Edgar is the head of the party, all these will be at a discount. Double check. Also getting the uh, dried meat for the Gao Velvet check. We'll find some warp stones, too. So pretty good find so far for Golden. Still looking for uh, smoke bombs and hopefully some uh, throwables with uh, the next door neighbor here. Bolt Edge. There we Bolt go. Edge. That's not Let's bad. Not a lot of bosses that you find in this thing are uh, mechanical robots. They are weak to lightning. So uh, that'll be pretty good find for them. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I was talking about 21. Hell yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Honestly, I tend to get some of that stuff just on reflex now. Just like, okay, what if I find, you know, if, if I find somebody with throw, you want them to be able to do it right away. A lot of good checks available here. Um, 
Edgar series. Uh, we also had Mog there. Did get the uh, we did see Golden go to the uh, Norse check. So Wolf was started, but he didn't follow through with it. As we find Setzer's free check now. I suppose that kind of makes sense. Maybe he wants to do the whole thing at once. You know, may, like okay, I want to make sure that he's got enough power to do the Kefka Narsh check at the same time, for example. Yeah, I don't, you don't want to do it. Um, most people like to wait for their fifth character before they try to do Kefka Narsh, or they're <clears throat> forced into it because of character gating. Uh, eh, not very good spells for Siren, but Siren is good for the end game. It's always nice to have that mute on hand. I'm actually going to pull my tracker up because we have a lot of different checks that we can uh, find here. Uh, here we go. So we have Setzer, uh, uh, Setzer Mog, uh, Gao, and Edgar. Yeah, a bunch. Uh, they found that dried meat right away, so they can... Well, they can take care of that, but they have that fourth character. They both have the fourth character now, so they'd have to take a quick trip up to the airship before yep, they'd be so, able to do that. Yep, so we actually, yeah, we actually get the uh, Search the Skies force check. Now, you can get it randomly uh, if you hit the right pixel in the World of Ruin. Uh, but we can force that check now that we have Setzer in the party. Uh, so that is some. that is another option. Golden Feature is taking that uh, little underground path in South Figaro, which I actually keep forgetting about, so congratulations to them for being better than me. Yep, you can reverse through that path, but you can't go through the natural direction, which would be in the vanilla version of the game. Uh, but you can run through it backwards. I like it and dislike it at the same time. I like it because it does get you to the other side of the map without having run into other NPCs. But I also dislike it because it puts you on the wrong side of the map to complete the rest of the uh, mayor's house. Because then you have to run back across the map to get to the mayor's house again. That is true. Uh, sometimes doing the, the mayor's house... Uh, if you do it in uh, the World of Ruin, though, that one weird en weirdo in the off to the side of the item shop isn't there. So you can kind of squeeze your way around... Uh, saving a little bit of time doing it in the World of Ruin instead of the World of Balance. Yeah, that guy you saw on Kigla's screen in the, back, in the bottom corner of your screen there, uh, that is the person uh, that my uh, cohort here is talking about. So, yeah, they're kind of blocked the path for you, unfortunately. Not really seeing any me any good items after the initial find there of the Ice Shield in... Not finding the Spears, not really finding any... Good offense. Single ninja yeah. star. Man. Yeah, one ninja star. No spears yet. No uh, no real weapons. Uh, physical weapons to speak of. Uh, Kikolas finding shurikens in his shop, though. I believe both of them did find them. Uh, I think they're both in the uh, all the yes. balance, so they both kind of find them. Magus hats are available in the armor shop as well. No real good casters yet, I guess you could say. Setzer with the throw does, I believe, the bolts do scale off of uh, magic power. Uh, yeah, the, the scrolls do, so fire, water, and bolt scales off of magic power, and uh, yeah. But shurikens, I believe... God, do the scrolls ignore defense? I know that, that the shuriken ones do, but I'm not sure about the scrolls. I don't think so. I'm not sure. It's weird because, like, it's kind of hit or miss. Like, sometimes I use a scroll and it, it seems to do more damage, and sometimes I cast a spell and the spell does more damage. I mean, I'm not sure which the scaling is still. It definitely suffers from the split damage if there's multiple targets, yeah. uh, but I don't know true. about the defense thing. It might be, it, that might be, like, a function of the actual ability. Could be. Uh, Golden Feature is actually flipping over to the World of Ruin now. Now, the weird thing about South Figure is all the other towns, no matter if you're World of Balance or World of Ruin, once you loot the town, that is all you get. But in South Figaro, you can actually loot it twice, one in each one in each realm, I guess. <laughs> um, time period? Yeah, time period. Time has passed. It's been to the future! A whole year! <laughs> and yeah, that's due to the uh, the very strange decision in the vanilla game of uh, allowing you to upgrade uh, an item by not picking it up in the World of Balance and waiting uh, until the World Ruin. There's a bunch, I believe, in the Narsh Cave as well, and a few more floating around. I think uh, the cave between South Figaro and 
uh, regular Figaro. Our registered streamer slash programmer for a thing, uh, Franklin says scrolls do not ignore de defense. Okay, so that is that 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 puts an interesting additional benefit to getting the uh, the having some shurikens in the back. Okay, so Magus hat is available. Only Mog can really wear it because we did find a regal crown, which is naturally worn by Edgar or Sabin because they're the kings. Yeah, regal crown's definitely the one you want to put on. We have the option. Uh, Kigalos going into the uh, Returners Cave, finding more shuriken ribbon. That's not bad. Yeah, if he finds a lock, Ooh, then that's not uh... bad for the bonus chest, though. Oh, interesting. It is a bit of a walk. I can kind of see wanting to uh, keep things sped up, especially if you're feeling like you're not not getting much, you know, not get too far in the beginning. Also, a red cap there. That's a pretty decent item as well. Golden features taking a random battle. Uh, also, frankly, adding that scrolls I have a spell power of 100, which is halfway, which is around between level two and three of the like bolt two or bolt three for this uh, bolt shuriken that he's using. So it's okay. somewhere in the middle. It does kind of make sense. Uh, seem to recall it, once you get fire three, you don't necessarily want to throw the flame scrolls anymore. Glowing stone in Zen, but 30k is a little bit too rich, rich for Kigalos's blood right now. Yeah, like last race we saw a couple days ago, over 30 grand is going to be a bit too costly right now at this stage. Yeah, especially since not finding a lot of decent equipment, but also not really finding a lot of endgame stuff that you might be able to, to get rid of. Like no Genji armor, Ooh. sells the ribbon. Yeah, I don't think I would have sold that though. No, you're still short, buddy. Oh, I guess he made enough. Hey, got stray. stray. Okay. Golden feature is getting up to level nine with that one fight. Not too bad. And still have enough left over for earring there for uh, Kiklis. So decide to put it on Mog. It looks like. Oh, oh never mind. Is life two and Berserk. So we do have a option for Magi Master because uh, Berserk does work on them to prevent them from. Changing their weakness. Life 2, of course, uh, being able to res a party member to full health, so that'll be helpful. Very uh, valuable spell to have. Uh, very expensive, though. Probably not going to be able to use it for a minute. Not a character for golden features here, so likely be an Esper or an item off this. Or well, it will be an Esper or an item. Uh, Kegelas is going to go for their Siren Esper here. I'm mean, a little disappointed with the spells it's going to give, though. An MP plus 50% might be valuable on... Yep, pop that on Mog. Uh, be able to get access to uh, Grand Train a little bit earlier. Good call. Yeah, definitely going to have to find a golden uh, hairpin. Uh, would be nice to cut that cost down in half from mm, 71 yeah. down to about 35. Uh, that would be very helpful. Rage Ring is pretty handy to have. Uh, it depend, provided that you have party members that can actually equip it, it's a good way to get some uh, elemental resistance early on. Uh, Kigales is kicking out Gao out of the party, which means they'll be going to the uh, Veldep to do the Gao check because they do have dried meat thanks to the uh, shop in uh, in South Figaro Castle. Not too bad of an idea to do it now while you're still only going to run into a, the, the Lobo. But but he's my brother. I know, but he's <laughs> he's the default. You know, what are you going to do? He's the guy that you call him. That was Ow. not nice. Ooh, Ooh hello. hello. Finding the murder child, a uh, hungry murder child. She wants some meat. Get that child jerky and she'll work for you. Apparently. Realm is a good catch because she naturally has high magic power in the group. 
comes with a memento ring, which is not bad to have in the side slot, but also sells for pretty decent. So it's another good reason to run into her. Not even going to look at her abilities. She's just being added to the party, and we're going to go straight <laughs> into the Serpent's Trench. So I guess Gal is out with the uh, only having really health as an option, because Morph yeah. doesn't really do much of anything, because he doesn't have a second ability to go with it. Maybe magic, but he hasn't learned any yet. So I guess uh, I guess uh, Gal's out. <laughs> and he's got Fire and Ice, too, from uh, the Shield and, I think, Stray. So that's, that's something, but... Eh. Not really enough. Um, but health would be nice to have in the early game to keep your party's health up, especially when you're going to go through these early fights to get some levels so you can start progressing the rest of the seed. By the way, on uh, Golden Features, uh, you got Dataluma on top of a bunch of vines. Yeah, chat, uh, chat referring to him as Dad Bod Llama, which I'm not sure. I thought I knew what Dad Bod meant, but if... Dadaluma has a dad bod, and I guess I certainly don't. No, I definitely, I am the dad bod. I am the, <laughs> I'm the poster child of dad bod. So, ooh, got an Illumina off of it. That is worth the trip. That is a dead check, but that is not a bad dead check. It's a fresh dead check. You can go ahead and take that home. It's like somebody just hit that check with their car, and then they drove away. You know, you're eating good now. Well, we are going to have to progress the uh, seed further, though, because Edgar is kind of a back-to-back -back check, I guess you could say. Uh, you can back out of it halfway through, which I guess is what Gold is going to do here. Possibly saving? No, yeah. No, he's just going to... No, he's not even going to go to Ancient. Kind of early for Ancient because there is a dragon down there. That's um, true. So, uh, it's, it's unfortunate I would have done this check this early because there's so many other ones you could do. Because uh, you still have, uh, let's see. I mean, you have Setzer's Tomb check. You also have all the Gow checks. This is what Glass do, and that's an Allosaurus, which is not an easy fight either. Um, you don't really want to go up to um, Narsh either, because you're going to be stuck on the hill doing Kefka Narsh in the Wolf check with no levels. I mean, he has levels uh, now, but which he's going to do now. Looks like. Yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah, he's he's gonna go take the the Mog and the Kefka and Narsh check at the same time. Um, maybe go back for the the Ancient Cave uh, later, but I don't know. I, I, unless he's uh, really really scrambling for something specific, might want to hold off on that. Yeah, Kickless is a little bit better position, being able to put Gao. He can do the Kefka and Narsh check. Being able to put Gao as the extra group, maintaining a group of four. Uh, where uh, Golden Feature is probably going to kick out the Gao. So you're only going to have a group of three to face whatever is on top of the hill here. That's true. And not going to have uh, not going to have Realm early enough to, you know, I guess it, nobody's found any stat bumps yet, so that doesn't really matter too much. But no, just MP, having, that fourth, really. having that fourth character, you're right, is pretty valuable. Four shield. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> it's trying to figure out. X magic, by the way. Whoa! Nice! Meteor was on that stray? Did I see that correctly? Or did Gao just learn that from his natural magic? Uh, I might learn that from natural magic. I have not seen Meteor in either of the Espers, so he must have naturally learned that, which is not a bad spell to learn. Pretty good. Uh, keep it on a golden feature screen, see if there's anybody behind Yamaro, and there's not, so it's going to be an item or Esper behind Yamaro, if we find him. That's another check where it's a bit of a walk, but at the very least you can peek uh, what that check is going to get you before fighting a boss and, you know, decide accordingly. Yeah, and unfortunately for World of Balance, you cannot warp from the top of the hill. You can do that in World of Ruin, but not in the World of Balance, so... Soldier on top of the hill. Dead check, or not dead check, but non-character check. And same Two soldiers. Here. Soldiers. Well, apparently this is Wedge. <laughs> ah, right. The other one's Biggs. Wedge and Biggs, kind of on top of the hill at Narsh. <laughs> Ditch their uh, Magitek armors here. Choice is a Behemoth suit, which would be good for uh, naturally for Realm, but going to go for the other check instead. Hopefully, don't get burned. Ah, uh, Magisite. I'd, I'd probably. I, I always okay. prefer to get progression. Uh, 
you know, even if it is a an item. I guess if it's an item that would re- Ooh, that's a good Rama. Uh, Ooh. I, I guess if it's an item that really opens up uh, whatever build you're trying to shoot for, then, you know, you might think like, uh, well, maybe I can go ahead and take the uh, oh. little trip. <laughs> oh, Odin, what's on that guy? Oh, Odin has fire three on Odin and plus, uh, I think it was 30 HP. Man, forget what I was talking about. That is, so, <laughs> that's great. Well, we got some good Kefka. Uh, ooh, Dragonhorn. Dragonhorn is available. You need to buy that, dude. Yeah, put that Natural on Edgar. jumping Edgar. Oh, no, he's not going to get it? Oh, he's going to rearrange. Okay, he's going to sell stuff. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a drop everything you're doing. But not really finding an item uh, weapon to go with it. I mean, you don't really want to jump with an Illumina. It's better than a <laughs> Mithril Pike, but yeah, it'd be nice to yeah. find, at the very least, like a Gold Spear or something. So if for nothing else, you could pop that Illumina on somebody else. Yeah, we did find a Trident in a shop. That's the only thing we would find. Ooh, he's not, he's not going to sell anything for it. I saw a, um, I saw a, a Stout Spear in a shop, too, but that's still not quite, you know, getting there. Wow, Vanilla Kefka. Oh, okay. Well, Vanilla Kefka at uh, Norris looking for Biggs and Wedge, apparently. They're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, they're in deep trouble. We're talking bad about him back at the camp. Kegel is not going for the Dragon uh, Horn right now, unfortunately. So we might have to come back to that. We'll have to remember that. Running back to the world of Ruin, uh, looks like he's going to head to Jador for the realm check, possibly. Maybe uh, take a look ah. at the auction house. Fenrir out of uh, out of <laughs> Kefka and Narsh. Not a bad find. We have Siren. We have Woden. We have Fenrir. We have three of the Exodia Espers for the Kefka final Kefka fight. And multiple casts on all of them. Oh, there's multicast in... I did not know there was multicast I believe in... for Moogle's first tournament. I think so. Maybe not in the final phase. I don't know if the flags got changed, but I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, chat asking where the realm was. That is in uh, Gao's check in the Velt, uh, which it looks like Golden Features is heading to now. Uh, forgot to pop that Moogle charm back on, but going to go ahead and take some easy experience off of these, uh, off of these weirdos. <laughs> yeah, early game Tuskers. Not very hard uh, bow to fight here. Especially if you have a fire spell. Uh, ditching Gao out of the party completely, just going with a three-man group now. Yeah, I think they're going to head towards the belt uh, to take that check now, since yeah, it's and not a bad call, too. The, when the party selection screen came up, even though you didn't get a character, might as well take advantage of it. Yep, I'll tell about time shaving because the biggest boss in the randomizer when you're racing is the menu boss. Oh yeah. Kegelas using, uh, using a uh, smoke bomb to get out of that fight. Yeah, those guys are nasty no matter when you find them. Especially mm. if you find them at under 1000 HP. Since those uh, faces can cast blowfish. Is Hootie with him? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Uh, Hootie had to... Once the floating continent raised up, he was just like, look, I can't be a part of this anymore. You guys have really lost your minds. I, I'm just, I'm going to have to go on my own. Hey, we found Fenrir. Where am I? I'm going to move my wolf howl. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that makes up for the show. Uh, Lobo earlier. <laughs> it's the goodest boy. Uh, I mean, I still put it in an Interceptor, though. Right. Mm, that's true. I mean, hell, Interceptor can block Calmness for crying out loud. Okay, Interceptor is... He does the clutch Ooh. thing, so he's more, you know... Oh, dear. Kigalot's having some trouble. Warp warp out anything, whatever you have. Oh, no, that's going to heal him, I think. Fire? Yeah. Yep. That there. heals them. There we go, Warp Stone coming out. Very, very good things out of Kigalot. Eject. <laughs> Use the healing use the healing spot here. Using the time honored tactic of wait never mind. Well those uh, that fight there I believe was the uh Esper Cave from Terra's check and the Absorb Fire, I believe. Yes, they are the trickiest undead in the entire game. That is true. As the Ozer mentioning finding an imp painting. 
had a hard time seeing what uh, Golden Features was going to be getting out of this. We'll get a good look at that uh, NPC right here pretty soon as Kigolas fights uh, Flame Eater. Besides, use the Ninja Star. Probably a good idea. Yeah, unfortunately, doesn't have the Water Shark, and that would probably be the best thing to use. Oh, we do have Clean Sweep, though, from hey, uh, Google. See if I think that I think that'll because it'll hit a weakness. Ooh, is he weak against water or is that just the balloons? I thought he, he was is. only weak against ice. Yeah. But still, getting balloons off the screen is still helpful. Though. Yeah, that's true. Ouch. Speaking of more fire on the screen, we also have an infrared over on Golden uh, Features' side as we have the grain train coming out from the Moogle. Probably gonna go down to that though. Oh, okay, we're good. Shooting triangles at it, which is one of the uh, most mystic shapes on the Super Nintendo. Murder child hitting for triceps. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, it's uh, it's October. Uh, yeah, it is October. October first. That's a kapow for them. Ooh, that's a wall going up from Flame Eater. Interesting. I did not know that, uh, I did not, it could do that. Yeah. It doesn't really stop, uh, Kegelis' offense, though. Uh, oh, I missed it. What did Golden Features get? Fixed dice for Setzer. Yeah, boy, click clack. But he's already got throws, so it's like, eh. Oh, yeah, well, hey, maybe, maybe Edgar can pop him on. Oh yeah, if we can get, get on Edgar with a dragon horn, we can find out because characters do have a chance to not to be able to weld items that they wouldn't normally have. We just find a Megalixir on the airship. That's a very good find. Uh, I believe 33%. Uh, I don't know if that's the... I think that's the standard. That might not be what it is for this one, but um, the randomizer goes through, checks every single piece of equipment, and gives you a uh, 1 in 3 shot of that character being able to use it if they couldn't normally. Oh, that is almost a party wipe here for Kiggles. Uh oh. As Golden Features is going to also go to the Ogre's Mansion, is going to be beaming this Flame Eater. I've never seen Flame Eater like, hit this hard. Oh, I did not notice until just now, but that Fenrir has life three. Oh, so. <laughs> Fenrir double, double calmness protection. Yeah. <laughs> Kiglis does have, uh, he's got five characters and three espers, so his, his level scaling is decently high right now. Um, might be running into that without a whole lot of uh, elemental resistance. Yeah, for sure. The physical damage isn't doing much, but those, those spells are really, really chipping away at him. Selling the farm for an at, uh, arm, uh, Atlas armlet. So he's going, he's not going to use Jump for Edgar, he's going to use that instead Gauntlet Atlas Armlet for the Illumina, which you can swing from the back row, so he's going all in on Edgar one swing in the Illumina. I can see that if you're not finding the good spears, um, I can kind of, I can understand thinking like, you know what, let's just, I'm going to cut my losses, I'm going to make Edgar really good right now and he'll be really good for the rest of the game. Very nice kill on Kegelis' screen. Yeah, but unfortunately, Edgar's not, and Derek is not going to get the break for the benefits reward for this after getting exploded. Colton Feature's running into slow 30 oh, magic. Ugh. Yeah, no good fights here. I'm glad we did not do this for leveling. Yeah, this place sucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oops. Okay. I have accidentally walked into the bed in front of uh, the lock Narsh check where you go down into the weapon shop and talk to that guy. I have done that so many times. I feel for this, for, for your golden features so bad right now. God bless. <laughs> so, oh, he got chaired. And we also find the last piece of Exodia for Higgelus. He got show. So we do have all four espers along with Flare and Meteor on Siren, or sorry, on Show. Quick as well. Quick as That's well. 16. So, yeah, we have all the tools we need for Final Kafka, pretty much. Lots of power. Yeah, Edgar, unfortunately, five levels behind right now.
Oh no, Golden Peach no, is also no forgetting. Too. It's it's such an easy mistake to make that it's every single undead creature in this game res like is weak against fire except for the ones in that sealed cave. I guess because there's lava everywhere, so they're used to it. The lava hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, we don't want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one lich staying up, though. Edgar giving it the cold shoulder, though. Only getting magic points out of it, unless the, the box flew by too fast for me to see. Uh, I don't remember. That happens a lot more often than I remember it happening. Like, as a, a, but like I did, I, I didn't know, for example, that the magic enemies did not give you experience until recently because I just ran away from them every single time. Yep, and that's in vanilla. Like the magic tower, you don't get any experience, yeah. just magic points. Um, it, that's why the magic tower kind of stinks because <laughs> yeah. you lose half your offense and you don't get anything really out of it except for a good item at the top and whatever you check is at the. Oh, and oh. a dragon in between somewhere. Golden Feature is probably going to have an easier time with this flame meter, having access to Ice 3. Yep, definitely. Kigalus looks like uh, they're going to... Oh, wow, yeah, that was quick. Yeah, Ice 3 for 4,500 damage, definitely doing short work of that. Kigalus going to probably take both of these checks at the same time as well, and uh, find that magical offense that... Uh, that He's been he's been wanting to to use with all the earrings that he bought, and does have the fifth character, so we will not be sure-handed on this check now. And it's true; it's a good chance for Edgar to pick up uh, pick up some pace. Oh, and then Edgar will get the Illumina off this too. Oh, uh, well, off the uh, Kefka. Mm Well, we got a moment. Uh, I want everybody to remind everybody, if you want to run your own seeds and your own races and stuff, go ahead over to ff6wc.com. Check that out. We also have links to our Discord as well. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. There can be a very... ...to help you... ...send the question up. They love answering questions. It's we just sitting there talking about Final Fantasy VI all day. It's pretty great. Yeah, we definitely have very knowledgeable people that know this game inside and out, literally, because they also reprogram the game <laughs> for yeah. the randomizer. So, <laughs> uh, so a, a quick correction: the Illumina is unfortunately in the Figaro Castle engine room, uh, so not oh, going I'm to sorry. be getting that. But two. Uh, Esper's getting the the one from That's the right. mog check earlier, and then Fenrir at the end of this, which I'm gonna get that wrong. Gonna be happy Fenrir. to see. Uh, that's gonna be interesting if he actually goes to the uh, Figaro checks here. We'll probably be able to uh, head down into, um, more likely to head on down into the basement too, as well, since uh, it has enough power for to likely take that dragon. I was I was just about to say like we only thing the only thing we haven't gone to is the uh, tomb, which on that respect is going to be has to be a character unless the uh, ancient castle is a character. Uh, we're kind of character gated at the moment, so this has to be a character. If this is not a character, then you have to do the ancient castle to advance yeah. the steed to get character number six and more chicks. In. Which hopefully Golden Features does head that direction next. Uh, I have not been... Okay, there we go. I can now see this. So they... Golden Features hasn't done the Serpent Trench yet. That might be something that uh, I would personally go into the Ancient Cave before doing the Serpent Trench, but... But it looks like that's the only other option for yeah. uh, Golden Shocker right now, at least. Yeah, gold, golden, uh, gold features, golden shocker. <laughs> I guess that's actually, yeah, the gold by golden shocker at this point, I guess. Um, so, oh, whoops. Sorry, I was looking at the, I was looking at the, uh, tracking sheet. Pardon me. Okay. Um, I think that might be their, uh, Twitch, uh, Twitch stream, uh, name. So we'll see what this is. This has to be a character here. Yes, it is. It's Go-Go. Single check character, however. Yeah, it's a single check character, which means that Gogo is also a character, and it's his counterpart, Yamaro. 
Pretty likely, yeah. Unless uh, unless it's on the ancient, unless it's in the ancient castle. Yeah, unless for a character get ancient castle, it's kind of weird. Um, this is a very weird seed now. Gogo does put him at six though, so kind of doesn't have to worry about the rest of them except for uh, you know the number of checks available is dwindling pretty quick. I know Gogo is basically a free check. Um, I would still do Ancient Castle, though, just to get the dragon to get the levels. Yeah, but considering that, you might want to wait a little bit to see if there isn't some weird weird nonsense, or like you find a character with, I don't know, Magitek or something insane like that. Well, I mean, no, seriously, actually, I would definitely do uh, Ancient Castle. You get a dragon, you have like two or three uh, monster chests that you could check for an offering. Oh, that's um, true. I forgot about those. Of, Plus, you also get the check itself. So there's a lot of options uh, to do here. Um, Looks like golden features are uh, down under. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I completely forgot about the monster chests. And um, even if you don't get anything out of it, because you do get the dragon, do get the monster chest, if you even get an offering out of it, you can still do go go. And go go's not that long of a check to do. That's true. Um, so Lots of items in the ancient do. castle too. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if if either of our runners are feeling the pinch for for items still, but um, lots of them down there to uh, to pick up. Um. Yes. Uh, yes. Kegelus has not seen. Uh, he has done Serpent Trench, has he? I don't believe so. No. So uh, Kegelus does not know about the Dragon Horde because uh, he has not done Serpent Trench. Golden has, but has gone all in for the uh, Illumina single hit um, for 99,999 damage. Edgar. I'm sorry, I got that backwards. Uh, Kigalus does not have access to the fixed dice, but does have the Illumina, and Golden Shocker is the other way around. My mistake. Yeah, Golden has the fixed dice and knows about Dragonhorn. Um, where Kigalus has not done Serper Trench, and he has not done the... Uh, no, he has done the... Uh, Rum checks, right? Uh, it looks like Serpent Trench is Odin. Oh, experience oh, egg. Very that, nice. Right? Ooh, that's going to be very helpful. Especially with fixed dice. And that's Stormy. Which is a weird dragon. He's actually weak to the element that he is. He's lightning. Yeah, you wouldn't expect that. Defending his win, but, you know. Oh, does get the wind slash off. This is going to cause a lot of damage. Woo! That is a dead realm who is not going to benefit off this, because that is going to be a dead dragon after this. Okay, no! Now it's a dead dragon. Oof. Yeah, but still, oh, well. realm not benefiting off that. That's a bummer. I imagine the uh, epic spirit cave is going to go on her to cover catch up. It is a nice item to find for for that reason. Oh, second one. A second crap. experience egg. Whoa, this, is, okay. this is a Wolf. good castle. Wharf. Oh, yeah, got a reviver before you're allowed to put any relics on her. You can't open up her casket to... No. Nope. This isn't Dragon Warrior. Dragon Quest. Now, excuse me. No, the body's got to be warm if you want to incubate the egg. Otherwise, you get an undead chicken. <laughs> yeah, why did the chicken cross the road to gain experience? Apparently. Ooh, not going nice. for the offering chest. Finding, uh, Kegel is finding fire, fire schemes. Uh, getting, getting that elemental access up for throw. I always feel more comfortable when I have a full set of everything by the end. Oh, yes. Oh, golden now, um, because that... But that was a dead check, though, right? Because that was, uh... Yes. But experience egg is a win egg, because that's how you win. So, not a bad deal, getting the dragon, getting experience eggs. So... Now it's going to go to Gogo. Gogo has to be a character. I just noticed in Kuklis' screen that uh, Shiva is teaching Ultima at uh, times 20, so... 
magic has been solved. Uh, okay, that's all you need. <laughs> Where's the spell? Uh, I think it was uh, the Searching the Skies boss fight. Oh. Ultima, really fantastic, even in these race settings. Uh, Flare, Pearl, Meteor, those are all fantastic spells that are extremely useful and do tons of damage, but they also take forever. Uh, whereas Ultima, I believe, takes a clean, like, five and a half seconds, something like that. Like, barely anything for the amount of damage that it puts it's out. It's the same as Meteor. What's the same oh, is it? Yeah, okay, no, you're right. Meteor, Meteor, oh my god, what this, what's the third one that I'm thinking of? Oh, well. Uh, Flare? Flare and Pearl are the obvious ones. Um, yeah. I, I thought there was a third, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm making it up. Merton? Is reasonably quick. Yeah. I guess Ice 3 takes a minute, but not that bad. Well, Golden is now at the uh, Leprechaun check here. Um, gotta get past this guy in the middle. Everybody, send, send your luck. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, yeah, so close. He was just trying to get these chests. It was totally intentional. I was watching, uh, who was it? I think it was Hefe this morning. And he jumped into the person's body and still got through. I'm not sure how he got through there, but he jumped into the person's body and still made it across. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the most annoying uh, things. Because yeah, the movie is completely randomized. And it always seems like it either works immediately or you're sitting here for like a minute and a half. Oof. Ah, oh, come on, you're two spaces away. Come yeah. on, man. I want the ref to take another look at that. Oh, a five-yard penalty on Notre Dame on that one. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is the other reason why I went through to the ancient castle, because you gotta do this damn thing. Uh, and you also have the uh, falling roof, too. So... Oh, no! Oof. That was oh, brutal. Three. He walked like three things away and then just came straight back. The thing is, we have to do this check too. That's the oh, frustrating yeah. thing. We are character gated on this. This has to be a character, everybody. So, in chat, which character do you think this is going to be as he's over four? And let's see. Tritok Cliff hasn't been done. There's still there could be two in the auction house. Yeah, Espers, but there's not characters. We need. Uh, well, we don't need. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still no, not enough Espers. You yep. Don't. They actually. This is this is actually required. They do yeah. not have enough character checks to make even if every single one they get. Oh, well, sign. Not that would be because delightful. we do have seven Espers for Kigalas. We can get two Espers oh, for right. auction house, and he does not have. Uh, Go go, because he hasn't done the uh, crypt. So technically, this is not needed. Okay, yeah, you're right. Because he didn't do thief. Because Golden did not do thief, and he hasn't done. What's the other one he has done? Uh, I don't Serpent remember him seeing auction house. Like? Serpent oh, search the skies, which is Viva, which is the Ultima. Oh yeah. Uh, looks like they both did that. He hasn't done Serpent Trench. Uh, he hasn't done the Thief. Okay, okay. Yeah, I get well, it. Well, we find so. Locke. Well, Locke has a lot of quick checks, though, so this shouldn't be too bad. Not a bad path to go. Oh, no, yeah. The, the Phoenix Cave is a bit of a walk, uh, but there is a dragon in there, so you can, you can make it a little bit more worth your while. And this one's just a nice quickie. Nice plus quickie you can, plus... Uh, yeah, but it's kind of late game. I mean, if anything above five is not going to be useful. True, but this is... You can also go and mess with, uh, mess with Tritok, since, I mean, especially at this point, you're, you're, if you find an Umaro, you don't really want to deal with it. So you're probably not going to be going back up there. No, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, you could get a dragon plus the uh, Tritok chest. This is an Esper. Carbuncle. Easy choice, too. So this would be number six for them. Still need three more. Search the skies is the one that is the big one so far. Is gonna go check the curse shield. Any like I said, anything above five is gonna be completely useless here. Yeah, fifteen. 15. I, yeah. Think, I wouldn't even do that at the beginning of the game. 
No. Not gonna do Tritoch. It is a bit of a hike. Could get Dragon there to get some levels, though, but... I tend to like that one uh, for no other reason than you can warp out of it. Another reason why I'm not a big fan of the Ancient Castle is you gotta hoof it back out, which is always a bummer. Yeah, true. It may as well too bad of a walk. And you can actually warp out of uh, World of, World of Ruin Narsh, so... But Kiglos is gonna get their second experience egg off this dragon here at the end. Gonna be very happy. Uh, Golan's actually doing the uh, tunnel armor check here. I'm guessing this is going to be another character, though, unfortunately for them. Ooh, Doomgaze. Yeah, he doesn't have the uh, Memento Ring, which is a very good item to have against uh, Doomgaze. Doomgaze, a lot more HP than what you expect. Um... Yeah, I tend to really underestimate uh, how long it's going to take him. Even at low levels, he, he, can, he, he hits 10, 10k pretty quick. Yeah, uh, Doomgaze and Pumbaa have a lot more HP than most people uh, estimate for them to have. As uh, Pearl comes out, that's going to do a good amount of damage, though. Yeah, it looks like uh, Golden Features managed to avoid the level 5 Doom at the beginning. Is that uh, is that a fun little... Nope, never mind, there it is. Yeah, we're just a little late to math class here, but Realm ah, failed it. Poor Realm, just not catching a break on Golden Features' stream. No, and everybody already queued up attacks, so let's... Uh, if yeah, if Edgar procs here, this could be bad news for Realm. Does have a couple of experience eggs, though, so you could catch her up. Oh, he's just going to push through and forget about Realm, apparently. I set oh, one up go. for the next one. I'm... Yeah, I'm not sure what the Fire 2 was. It might have just been an automat you know, automatic response. Like, oh, it's... I'm going to cast this spell with this guy right now. Oh, hey, perfect. She just gets her up, yeah. You can go through that gap. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I did. That's another one I didn't know about. One of the fun things about watching this randomizer is that you always end up seeing something weird. Hey, there's that I science knew it. that I was talking I about earlier. It. I knew it was another character. Cyan Blitz, Blitz. Cyan. Uh, Bunch of checks. I, I'm always a fan to see him, even at the end. I don't mind going through his dream at minute 45. Well, now we're at eight characters. We are actually a one character way for uh, Golden to have the shortcut here. Oh, he does have Shiva, so he did do the uh, search this guy's check, apparently. Yeah, he did. So, okay, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. both of the runners have found all of the magic power that they need to get to the end of the game. Fire three uh, for some weird single target shenanigans, if you feel like doing that. If you need to save an MP or two. Quick check here. Oh. It's another character, Celeste. Probably want to do this because this will be character number nine for them. Yeah, yeah. Getting up to nine is is worth it. But I'm guessing, okay, Piranha's a little bit of a time waster, but an easy boss. Ironically enough, it's not what I would want to find here. I would want, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll take whatever as long as it has a elemental weakness I can exploit, but these guys just, they bum me out. Ah, uh, very nice. I think uh, another Esper had an Ultima on it. <laughs> yeah, and Celeste does have a couple of quick checks too. Thank you, Taco, for that. Um, yeah, I could run over to South Figaro. Um, I would know. I would do Magitech Facility. They can get two Espers off that, and then nope out the third. Yeah, yeah, that's that's another good spot. Yeah, so it's finding a lot of good characters all at once and all behind Gogo. -Go. I would probably, if I was golden right now, and I don't want to check, I don't want to try my uh, Zelfer luck. I would actually do uh, Magitech facility first two checks, then go to Mount Zozo, hit the dragon there, cap my levels off do that check and then might be home free I hope but he's actually going to do a dream instead which is a very long check but he needs three so hopefully this is not a character yeah this could give him exactly what he wants but yeah you're right the gamble yeah getting out of it would, would be a 
I don't believe you can't. Oh, you're not. You can't get out of this after the fact, right? It's this no. is you're locked in. Right? Yeah, you're locked in. You're locked in. You're going. We don't even have sword tech, so we're not even gonna get the sword tech off this either. Or at least the benefit of it, I should say. Unless Celeste has it, which we don't know because we never check. We'll see what Celeste had. Kegel is taking a slight time hit. I uh, went, forgot to press one of the switches in Daryl's tomb. Had to do a little bit of backtracking, but back on track. Yeah, you just uh, for Daryl's tomb is pretty easy. You just want to go clock, clock, uh, clockwise order: upper right, bottom right, and then go down to the, go to the left, go to the bottom, and then hit the. Middle. Go, go, sleeps tonight. Wow, apparently Go-Go's dreaming whatever Golden's doing right now. It's a weird dream. Yeah. Narapa. Don't want to see him in my dreams. Dooming my entire team. Is that how long it's going to be before you wake up? Yeah. Oh, Bio successfully poisoning. It's something you don't see all that often, but poison stacks in a very strange way that uh, makes it not oh. worthless. Ah, uh, cat hood. Oof. So already this is putting us behind. I mean, we do have yeah. round for cat hood. That's going to help. Might get some money out of this to maybe get an auction house. I don't know. But yeah. Oh, that's true. That that wouldn't... I mean, that's not ideal, but that would be a good uh, a good way to, to use this to their benefit. I don't think they did... Thief. Now, Golden hasn't done Tees and Thief, which is an Esper Stray. So that is the missing Esper that they don't have what Kegelis has. Right, okay, yeah. So, um... So, it's, but yeah, we still... So either Auction House for the rest of it, right now, again, mm -hmm. or where he's gonna have to go after uh, Locke here, which was in uh, Gilgos, too. So character, character there. Oops, uh... Golden doing everybody's favorite puzzle here. Yeah, this takes a while to internalize all that stuff. Is there, if this right here is a character, this is gonna be rough. Oh yeah, I didn't see the NPC earlier. No. Okay, oh, thank no, it's, yeah, it's not a PC, so... Uh, oh, but... Kiko's not reducing his parties. This is going to take a while for everybody to get eaten here. Uh, when you do Gogo's check, you want to reduce your party down to one because uh, really, uh, Zonier doesn't really kill you. He just demis you down to like one HP at the worst. Yeah, it can be kind of kind of intuitive, but the the ideal setup is if you happen to go to a, one of those character screens after getting a character and just dump everybody but one person. Particularly the one without uh, Bogo Charm. Yeah. Because it doesn't really matter who you bring in there. And just run that way. So this is going to fortunately eat extra time in for Kiglis. It's probably going to lose about a minute here. Uh, chat asking about the Shady Trade. I if you're talking about the, the Thief and Zen... Um, yes. I... <laughs> ceiling Cat nailing it. <laughs> Got him. Cat. Uh, the shady trade. That's the thief in Zen. You walk behind the uh, relic shop, and there's a there's a guy wandering around back there, and he'll sell you something for some amount of money. Uh, Which he knows about it. thirty thousand. <laughs> uh, in the world of balance, we nobody's checked it. In the world of ruin, uh, the the dollar value is different uh, based on what uh, you know. Inflation destroyed the world. Uh, that's why, the what have you. Uh, and so in the future, uh, maybe it might be a little bit cheaper, it might be a little bit more expensive, but it will be the same item. Uh, and looking at it in the world of balance uh, allows you to know what that item is. They'll say, like, hey, you want this rock, or hey, you want this whatever. They're a little more eloquent than me. Oh, Kegelis having trouble. Well, I mean, Golden does, did jump on this four times, so... Uh, but Golden does get through the boss at the end of the uh, dream here, was Tritoch. Is going to get the sword tech abilities. Does get one Esper off of it, so we'll see if the second Esper is on the throne at the end here. Yeah, potential to get one Esper away from winning, which uh, makes the auction house a much, much nicer option. Or the thief. He still has thief too. Right. True. 
Hey, Let's very get the nice. Second Esper, Ragnarok. Over two for Kegelis. So yeah, Golden Features definitely should head for that thief right now. They probably have the money for it thanks to that cat hood. Um, but otherwise, might head over to South Figaro to uh, do the Celeste check. Nope, looks like they're going straight to Zen. Very nice. Yep. Do, 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 do. Oh, we sorry, I don't want to get demonetized. And that's zero for three. Uh, Not enough money, 31,000. Really brutal jerks. Uh, hanging out in this thing's stomach today. Yep. The luck is not. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Third time's the charm. And Golden has unlocked Kefka. Da, 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 da. I'm not restreaming, guys. Sorry, I don't have the Kefka unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> We're running quiet today. Silent running. Golden Features does and did get that uh, that tower skip pretty early, so probably probably going to take ac use access to that. But really zooming. Whoa, hey. Giggles! Woo! Woohoo! Daredevil. Yeah, so Golden Features now ahead by a mile now because he does have the skip option. Yeah, Thanks really to turned... Lock Celeste and um, Cyan. This turned out pretty good for him. Uh, Sketch on Lock. Okay, let's take an, uh, another couple chests here in Zone Eater. I wouldn't even bother now. I mean, at this point of the game, Aegis Shield's not that bad, but still. I understand the feeling of just like having just some because not a lot of elemental shields in this seed I've noticed so I can I can kind of get that feeling of oh my shield slots are bad I really want to just you know grab a thing if I think of it and, and move on but I'm ultra greedy so I was <laughs> <laughs> grabbing chests really late is usually not the thing you want to do it took me forever in, to stop even doing it in Kefka's tower uh, Kigalus is also going to do the lock check, the uh, weapon shop first, to get the eighth Esper, which is Carbuncle. Let's see if he goes up the hill for Tritouch and the Dragon here, where he's going to nope out and do something else. He's heading south. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, fake out. Take a quick peek at Carbuncle first. More MP. Yeah, not really helpful though. I haven't nope. noticed. He's going to nope. Oh. Haven't noticed a lot of good stat buffs. 54 minutes, 30 seconds there for Golden Shocker to enter Kefka's tower. Plus, he has the shortcut. Yeah, kind of running away with this one. Plus a bunch of characters. Ops even to just leave some of them home. Well, because he has a shortcut, he also gets the switches as well. Uh, Kegelis maybe... Oh, no, never mind. Going the wrong way. I thought he... thought he was walking out of Narsh. Maybe ran out of Warp Stones, but it's actually doing the opposite of that. Tentacles in the Guardian spot. That's not too bad. Got plenty of uh, multi-target damage here to throw around. Ultimas. Take care of all the problems you need. Kegelis fights a Dirt Dragon. Dirt Dragon. Yep, Dirty Durgans. They're not a fun one to fight, though, because the uh, Magnitude 8 Earthquake. Yeah, they have a number of nasty attacks. Horn Tusk can trip you up, too, if you, if you haven't been finding good armor. Yeah, it's true as well. The whole entire team now has Ultima there for Golden, so... Uh... Finding some vines here on the uh, first uh, of the four bosses here at the end of Kefka's Tower. Now we're just Ultima spamming at this point. Yeah, keeping Gogo -Go around to mimic Oof. it. Gem box. Oh, gem box. 
that's uh, we already have Rome with X magic, and double casting of Ultima is going to be kind of expensive too. Not really helpful. Yeah, maybe not too good for this party. You have Edgar swinging around Illumina, uh, Setzer's throwing stuff. Realm is really the only one casting a whole bunch of spells. Uh, I guess Mog Ultima is better than uh, Grand Train, but. Speaking of Ultima, we have the ultimate weapon here. It's the junior version. And that's yeah. Ultra's one. That's not bad. Yeah, that's a pretty easy one to find here. <laughs> Ultima and Ultra's one. Ouch. <laughs> and he should have been standing there. Yeah, he's All right, fine. Never mind, done. man. I'm out of here. Oh, crap. Jeez. <laughs> Forget your fire. I <laughs> can't <Goodbye. Ultima> place. <laughs> See if this is an Esper here. You guys are mean. Oh, oh. no. That's a bummer. Oh, it's a behemoth suit. Oh, gross. Great for realm, but that's about it. Yikes. That's a dead Ultima weapon. So, what we have on the tracker now shows the only espers that uh, Kiglis can get after that we don't know about already are both in the Dome of Dream. He obviously or, has uh, other options. Auction house. Uh, auction house, true. This obviously is not... has other options. Oh, but... he didn't do this yet, so oh, no. this will be fixed dice on this. Yeah. He's going to double check see was that a character or not, and it's not. Merchant can kind of throw you off sometimes. Uh, chat asking if there's another round after this. Uh, directly streaming on this channel, no. Um... I believe uh, after this is done, then uh, this channel is going to be going quiet until I want to say Wednesday and Thursday are the other two days that uh, we stream pretty regularly. Well, Wednesday uh, we stream on the uh, on the yes uh, speedrunner, which usually is speedrunner four, uh, speed game sorry speed gaming four rather. Uh, every every Wednesday at seven in speed gaming four we do a community race over there. Thursdays at eight and Saturdays at nine. And then we might pop up once in a while in the middle of the week uh, because we do have a Moogles tournament thing going on, so we might be restreaming uh, some races uh, middle of the week. Usually around tournament time, we do we do do some extras. And in general, there are just a bunch of people running this uh, a lot of the time. I, I mean, they're not the biggest channels in the world, but I, I tend to see a lot of people uh, running this just here and there. Uh, it's always fun to jump in and talk shop with them. Um, interesting thing there, what we saw on Kigler's screen as Golden takes out uh, Inferno Jr. there. Uh, you cannot warp out of the room you do the boss fight in. You have to leave the room before you can use a warp stone. Yes. Uh, does that also apply to Umaro's room? Because I always walk out of there first. Uh, no. I, okay. I always, I always walk out of a habit. I, I think you can warp out of his room. Oopsie doodles. Uh, Kiglas is now going to do the <laughs> tunnel number check, which will be Cyan. So it's going to be a little disappointed finding character number eight here. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point I probably would have gone into the auction house just to get it over with, but yeah, this this is in the imp though. Yeah, and this is it's not a it's not a, a, a slow check. You can run in there pretty quick. Um, at this point, both of our runners are pretty powerful, so I don't think they're either of them are going to really run into too much trouble. With, powerful, uh, they all have Ultima. What else? Do you yeah, need? exactly. <laughs> Level check, very nice. Oh, here's tunnel armor. Oh, there we go. Okay, this will be very quick. Especially with Ultima, heck with your bolt. Uh oh, <laughs> apparently Celeste is full of rage. <laughs> She's angry. Not in a very valuable way, though. I'm looking over those lists, and I'm not seeing any of the names that I've memorized. Yeah, uh, unless you see Stray Cat, yeah, there's not really much rage. Other rages are really any good for uh, randomizer, really. Yeah, the landslide ones can work in a pinch, but well, it does bring you down. It does. Uh, you can enter the tournament by heading over to our website at ff6wc.com. There's also our Discord that you can jump on as well. 
Uh, Discord's probably the best way. Uh, we'll pop that in here right now for you. Uh, head over there if you have any questions. Don't be afraid to ask because somebody will definitely be able to answer your question within five minutes. Yeah, I don't want to say guaranteed, but it's pretty darn close. Lots of little races going on. Uh, usually there's somebody running something. Uh, lots of asyncs too, which is very nice. So if your schedule is a little weird like mine is, uh, you can still you can still join in. Uh, just if you have to play at midnight, you have to play at midnight. Golden Features heading into the final battle at 101. Ah, and Kegel is seeing the, the character of however might also run into the tower skip. I have no idea what the... Uh, we do have our spreadsheet off that we helps us uh, keep us in line, our commentary is in line, and this thing's really giving me a hard time right now. I don't know why. <laughs> Sometimes Google Docs are rude. Yeah, so the uh, so that took him from the start of KT to get to the uh, second set of switches only took uh, Golden uh, seven minutes. Yeah, he's skating through this thing. Ultima is just taking care of all the problems. And again, we have all the espers we need. We have Siren, we have Odin, we have uh, Shout. Oh, we have Shiba and Realm. Oh, Shiba and Ramu equipped. Not doesn't have two of the ones he needs. He does not have Fenrir. Oh, he does have Fenrir. Okay, Fenrir, yeah. Uh, but we don't have Show equipped, and we don't have... Uh... I don't think I saw Siren, either. Oh, I saw Siren. Okay, Odin, then, I guess, is the one that's missing. Yeah, he doesn't have Odin or Show. Uh, he was in Fenrir a little early. If you have the multiple cats, I can definitely see it for this guy because he'll 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 deck you one if you don't watch it. Yeah, it's true. If you don't have the multiple cats, then no, absolutely not. You want to save that for for calmness. Yeah, I would definitely insta kill first before casting all these ultimas. You want to get rid of long arm. Long arm does have a lot of HP, uh, so instantly killing it cuts into that time frame a lot. Yeah, and you don't you want him to go first you don't want uh you want that short arm in the back there to die last otherwise you're gonna yeah, eat a quake fist. yeah double casting uh ultima here mm. oh uh so let's check we find uh saban at the uh just decides to leave check. i don't blame like, him just like, it's fine i don't mm. no you can stay in prison there saban <laughs> yeah you sorry stay there <laughs> rip sorry about that buddy but Ugh, I gotta go. Oh. I'm on a limited time schedule. I got an appointment. Look, I'll be back for you. I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't worry about it. Just, just hang tight. <laughs> yeah, Golden Feature is getting through it still. Uh, showed us. Was throwing all those Ultimas all over the place, but uh, I believe only took a, I think they took a Shockwave. It happened very quickly. <laughs> So Kiklis is going to do what I would have done, which is gone to the uh, Mount Zozo to get a dragon and maybe check the Esper here, possibly. That's got to be an Esper. Yeah, this is a good idea. It's a pretty quick check. Get some levels and you can move on. Minute four, uh, one hour, four minutes into the race. You're still feeling pretty good. Uh, these runners do not know what the other one's doing, so he has no idea that... Golden Features is running down, laying down a ridiculous time right now. Yeah, this this is an incredible run out of Golden Features. Just everything slid into place, made really good decisions. Uh, here comes the uh, Siren here to mute the magic here in the back row. Uh, the rest of the team just casts Ultima nonstop. <laughs> Hope they got some elixirs to uh, make good make up the uh, MP for the final couple of tiers here. Uh, chat mentioning um, having an instant kill weapon can be a good substitute for Doom, Break, or uh, not having Odin or Shout and stuff. And that is true. Those things work a lot more often than you might think. Uh, that's Assassin, Wing Edge, and uh, I think Trump and Doom Darts. That is true, but we do not have Exome. We don't have Doom. Yeah, yeah none, so of those, and none of those, those weapons either. Uh, Bluey is the uh, dragon here in the chest on Mount Zozo. Pretty easy here. 
miscellaneous bolt, or in this case, Ultima, double cast it from Murder Channel. <laughs> Just take care of business. Every day. Every way. I don't know what's left on the screen for golden features here. Looks like uh, Bluey is the only one left here as 10 hits comes out. Got the Fenrir uh, available and up, so we're not going to take too many hits here. And Magic's left yeah. last. Nice. Yeah, golden features really just showing a perfect showing of how to how to manage all of this stuff. If you got the offense, just throw it out there. It is hey, an expert for Kiglis. Very good. And they do have the uh, they they got Celeste out of uh, uh, Doma, so they do have the Kafka skip, which is good. That is true. I so, some time. well, outlying catastrophe for Golden here, though. I mean, anything can happen. It is that's true. Randos go to Rando sometimes, but uh, yeah, some, sometimes Kafka uses Ultima a lot. <laughs> yeah, features is out to probably a, a twenty-minute lead right now. <laughs> Ooh, Merton opener. Don't see that too often. Ah, uh, good. Everybody's alive. That's that's good. Wouldn't it be interesting if a uh, girl absorbed Ultima? <laughs> just, just yeah. Screw you. We're not. Look, we've been paying attention to how good this has been going. We altered the game accordingly. <laughs> it's adaptive difficulty. Actually, yeah. Get Franklin. Get on that. That that rocks. That's cool. <laughs> adaptive. Yeah. <laughs> Auto runic. That's a good. Ooh, that's oh, dirty. I like that. That'd be dirty. I like that. Oh man, the only way you could kill her would be through uh, weapon damage and throw. You <laughs> reflect. <laughs> it works on Ultima somehow. Reflects Ultima. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Ultima bypasses reflect though. Uh, Kiglis is doing some less than a shopping, it looks like. Uh, luckily, it did not get Sabin, so it didn't trigger the uh, falling house here. Yeah, there's X that potions to sale. Grabbing some, uh, grabbing some sleeping bags, making a couple sales. Ryan coming out for uh, for sleep here. That's going to stop the Ultima spree here. A little bit easier to deal with uh, than a couple of uh, unfortunate medios, but still you don't like seeing it. Oh, here they come. Wow, not bad. Now gets the moon song off, so he is very close here. 109 uh, called 25 here. So doing some, some quick status recovery before Deal in the final blow. Ah, to cast Ultima. He's not not even swinging the Illumina with Edgar anymore. Just you might as well yeah, use the blue casting. bubble. Yeah, so not officially quite. he's 15 minutes behind on entry here. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh, that's a dead Moogle. Uh oh. Oh, Ice Shield cast. Wow, we're not gonna have a Moogle going on. Yeah, we have. To oh no! Oh no! Okay, we got a real match. This got interesting really quick. All right. So our X Magic user and our big caster since the beginning of this game are down. Edgar has Illumina and Ultima. Sensor also has Illumina. Uh, uh, sorry, has Ultima as well. Gogo is in the background, so Gogo will also have Ultima if he has Magic That's true. Uh, set up. Ooh, Celeste and Cyan. But it's Celeste and Cyan, so neither of these two will have that. So they, they still have them for throwing around items. Um, used uh, the ice shield, unfortunately, in the last one, so not gonna not gonna be able to use that. But it's gonna be slow going, but still can still can pull this off, I think. Celeste rage Cyan with Blitz. Cyan might have Mantra available. Um, that'd be the only other option really here.
You're pretty much gonna have uh, Celeste on item duty, and maybe Cyan's gonna be on uh, mantra duty. <laughs> Which would get rid of, which would give you the uh, remedy effect, so using these remedies would probably wouldn't be that big a deal. Igris are on the Ultima train here. I'm sorry, I just realized I was pressing the wrong button. I was like, wow, it's like, kind of like, oh, <laughs> where'd I go, go bro? <laughs> Be careful, little careful from here, uh, cause Kepka's getting in that range where he can counter with yeah. his own Ultima here. Here comes Hyperdrive. Or Hyperdrive, that's gonna go on Cyan, which is fine. That's fine. Okay, here's this. Now, he's got plenty of Ultimas, he's gotten a couple of them off already. He... Ooh, he's gonna use Quick even here. That's smart. You wanna keep, you wanna get as much as you can out of this mode, so that... Because when Kefka's charging Goner, he's not counter-attacking, so you want to spend as much time in that as you can. I would have dumped, if I had another elemental shield, I would have dumped it and had uh, Celeste use it. Because she does have decent enough magic power that you can do like around 4,000 damage with it. Yeah, I'm curious if they don't have uh, some other breakables floating around that uh, maybe they haven't thought of the whole scene. Well, this Ultima should do it. I mean, he's doing almost quad nines here with Setzer. And nope, Goner's going to go off. So Still gotta be close, though. Less is gonna be down. Uh, we're gonna pop more Ultimas on top, though. Uh, Celeste is definitely gonna go down from this. Mm -hmm. So unless this Ultima counters another Ultima, the second one has got to. Be, I, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't count wrong, but yeah, I'm pretty and sure. And there it is. Okay, whew, rack. How that ends it for Golden here. That ends it for the match. 113.47 is the official time. Scaring everybody at the end there. Big GG's to Golden, sh golden Features. Can't get him in here for a hit, you? Yep, and he will be in here in just a little bit. By the way, I do want to point out, Kegelis is making his way in. Like, this is not a bad time for... <laughs> like, <laughs> is it okay? It's doing pretty good. Making it away. <laughs> <laughs> not making bad time here, considering the delays uh, that, that he ran into early on. Like, really picked up the pace uh, once he got that power together and, and just charged right through. So, not... Kegelis still not having a bad showing. And we are joined by our match two winner, Golden Shocker or Golden Features, depending on if we're on the stream or not. <laughs> uh, GG's, how you doing? There was an update recently for the mics on Discord. Uh, you might want to double check that. <laughs> yeah. Because it got me before the match. Discord changing everybody's settings this today. <laughs> Yeah, Discord, oddly enough, does not hold the defaults. <laughs> Especially when you plug in new equipment. I always want you to answer a survey. Yeah. Well, while we get that sorted out, Tunnel Armor on the screen again from Kegelass. They're going to trooper on to finish off this uh, run through here. A whole mess of levels in that party, including uh, the backup characters, so might be able to uh, make up some time by skating through uh, skating through the tiers a little bit faster. I believe they did leave, uh, I think they left uh, Gao on the ship, though. <laughs> yeah, why not? Person. So they did leave a couple people behind. I suppose that makes sense. I just realized if you don't take them with you, everybody else is going to get more experience, correct? I think that's still how it works. Or is it... Oh, maybe that is a flag. Maybe, but yeah, level 50 there on uh, Edgar, by the way. Those uh, experience eggs definitely coming through fruition there. 
Uh, you got us golden yet? Yep. Yeah, hey, there hey. we are. GG's, GG's dude. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, great time. 113.47. How was the seat for you there? Uh, honestly, <laughs> it, it might be hard to believe. That was actually the slowest time I've had today. I was, uh, that was a, you know, I probably could have gone quicker if I put Shiva on quicker. Uh, I had that Ultima just sitting in the wings all that time. I probably did like four or five checks with it, and I just didn't even think to check it. But yeah. uh, overall, it was a good scene. It worked out pretty well. Yeah, once you find once you found those correct espers, then and you had all that, you had the good spells. The whole thing kind of opened up. Um, so, I, I, what were you thinking once? the characters finally started rolling in because I believe uh, we figured out in this seed that like Gogo was if not necessary then pretty close to it um, so how did you feel once you know Locke and Cyan and everybody started pouring in you know I was really hoping not to get those extra characters but that, at that point like once they started rolling in it's like alright well KT skip and you know see what happens very interesting ancient castle I was trying to fade that and <laughs> Getting two EXP eggs was, uh, it was definitely interesting to say the least. Yeah, that was wild. I Meeting? was not expecting that. Yeah, now, but after you got all those characters, you had to make some tough choices of which way to go. You chose to do the Dream. Talk about that. So I was like 50 50 between doing, um, Vector and going through, um, you know, like Celeste's checks, but then I was like, well, I needed three espers. There are three checks at a dream sequence. So I was like, well, if everything goes perfectly, I could get all three right here. So that was kind of the, the reason why I did that. But high then, risk, high reward. Right. But then I was like, well, I still have like Zen Thief in the background. Like if I have to do vector, that's going to be a quick check. So those were like the next couple in the back of my mind if things didn't pan out. So honestly, I, I was lucky that uh, Zen Thief was nice to me today, and then also like overall, like all the checks kind of worked out in my favor. I'd say the only thing was just being gated at Gogo. Like that was the only thing that really made me like spin around for a while. Um, we're all glad you didn't do the uh, self figure prisoner Celeste chat because that ended up being Saban, by the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a big character seed. Lots of and it and all kind of pushed at the end too. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like I was getting espers a lot quicker than I was getting characters, and then all of a sudden it was just a big rush. Yeah, the other option to get the espers would have been Auction House. Like, how was your feelings about Auction House? Uh, mixed feelings. Like, I've had a lot of bad experiences with Auction House where it takes, you know, five, six, seven, eight tries. So, like, unless it's absolutely necessary or if it's, like, the very last esper, and I don't have any other like quick Esper checks, I try to fade it. Um, but I have done it before and it's worked out. It's just too RNG dependent in my opinion. I always seem to get imps. <laughs> yeah, right. That or you get like a, a leather hat and you're just like, all right, well, what was I supposed <laughs> to do with this? <laughs> Well, GG's again. Uh, is there anything uh, anything else you wanted to say? Uh, no. I mean, obviously, you know, I appreciate everybody that's putting on this tournament. Um, you know, very much, uh, you know, good experience. I enjoyed it, you know, definitely. So I'm hoping to kind of just continue on and see what happens. But, you know, overall, it's been a lot of fun. Um, definitely appreciate the fun things the, like, sex community and, like, how inclusive everybody's been. Uh, all of that stuff. It's just been, you know, pretty awesome going through this. Now, if it wasn't for the cool thing about the Moogle's first uh, tournament, the MFT, about having coaches slash mentors joining you in the early stages of this journey, would you have done, like, a tournament without that as an option? Uh, or was this more welcoming because of that? It was definitely more welcoming uh, because of that, but, um... <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it was a little tougher for me because when I had my mentor, like in the races, I actually lost all three of those races. And the reason why was they were like telling me, hey, you should go do this. 
and I wasn't comfortable going to do that, so I like went for it and said, all right, well, if you're saying this is the right play, I'll go do it. And I ended up wiping like in just very unfortunate, you know, places. I tried like, uh, I had a Octo uh, Valiant Knife build for uh, KT, the one, or for Kafka the one time. Did not go well. So like, I tried some things that actually got me out of my comfort zone and I kind of figured out where some of my limits are, where I could actually like play more to my strengths, if that makes sense. So uh, definitely like going through that was, you know, valuable experience to say the least. Good deal. And you're moving on to the next round with uh, Putski. Uh, it's also going to be one of the uh, mates. Now, this is the next round going to be a four-way uh, battle, right? I believe it's going to be the uh, final. Is that true? I, honestly, I haven't looked that I'm far sure. into it, but <laughs> uh, that's going to be uh, that'll be a fun one. Uh, he's a good guy, so um, I'm looking forward to it. All right, looking forward to that uh, match of the, the four-way battle as well. I hope. <laughs> That's, uh, now that I know that there's a four-way uh, race coming, um, I wonder, does it, is it like a battle royale? Do you know? I'm not sure. I guess that'd be a question for Jones. Like, <laughs> we'll we'll, okay. we'll follow up. We'll follow up maybe in the next uh, next matchup here when we have another uh, MFT here later in the week. Yeah, if there's uh, one of the um, organizers in the chat can uh, help us out with that maybe too, if they're if they're there. Yeah, regardless of what it is, though, um, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I mean, having tons of fun doing this, so um, however it kind of shakes out, I'm definitely, uh, <laughs> I'll be ready to go. Alrighty, good deal. Well, GG's to you. Get some rest and get ready for the next round. Yeah, thanks again. Uh, appreciate everybody that was watching, everybody that uh, helped with uh, organizing the tournament, and Jones, obviously. Um, and you guys doing commentary, restreaming, uh, much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for putting on a great show, man. Yes, thank you. Kigalus at tier three, uh, was kind of keeping a little bit of an eye on it and was, he was, he was scooting through those other tiers pretty quick. Didn't really have too much trouble. Almost, uh, took some, some, fatal damage from tier two but got everybody back up with a bunch of x potions and got getting life threes up just in case very nice considering what we ha saw happen to uh to golden shocker on tier three. Oh, i forgot to ask him if that gave him a little bit of a uh oh heart hesitation there uh <laughs> how did we forget the that yeah i forgot about that ah whoops uh, Grill is still up by the way uh, currently at about 550 hp but that hit's going to take her out. <laughs> Sometimes it's another strat of just lowering her down to like almost no HP is another strat to do and to, keep, to go after sleep then and then go after her at the end. I have tried that before. It uh, it took a it did it worked, but it took a while. So it is it is an option if uh, you absolutely have to have all four of these characters uh, fighting final Kafka. Which I honestly, with Kegelis, he's strong enough. He probably doesn't. I tried that. And failed miserably because girl cast life two on sleep. Oh yeah, that's why it has to be so low that you can like take him out like that quick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As soon yeah, as I took him out, she that? immediately cast life two on him. Oof. Yeah, that that was that hurt. Well, here comes that trying again. I don't think anybody's wearing a ribbon. That is correct. Nope. So everybody is now blinded and muted. Another um another um offshoot Esper combination that you can do on um at this tier is that you can have ribbon and then unicorn Esper yes. on one of your characters and be able to remedy the entire party with that one person. Yeah, so that it's is kind of like an A tier, B tier kind of a setup. If you don't have some it's of the Espers, as Moogle uh -oh. goes down, that's oh, Palmas no. coming out. We do have uh, Fenrir up. It's going to miss both of those, so we still lose Mog. 
not too bad. These three can definitely take uh, take on Final Kafka. And Kegelis had spent a little bit of time uh, moving an experience egg around, so his backup characters are uh, in their mid thirties as well. Yep, and Edgar's like level fifty something right now. Yeah, so he's <laughs> beast with a with a uh, gauntlet slash Atlas armlet. <laughs> so, hey, go here. Ultima. So more Ultimas. Yep. Uh, perfect, perfect fifth character you want to have in there. Is going to have all the spells everybody else has. I believe we had him for a couple of minutes, so he should be able to have some skills available to them. Or not. Never mind. I, I'm just lying. I'm not my teeth, apparently. <laughs> Ooh, still uh, silenced and blinded for a bunch of characters. Going to have to spend a little bit of time taking care of that. Well, the good thing about uh, Kefka is if you don't do anything at the beginning, all he does is fall in one. Uh, so you can just immediately drop a Mega Elixir, which I do not think any of our runners have. So we're pretty much going to be uh, using Life 2 to get back into the swing of things here. So as long as Kefa doesn't do an AoE attack, we should be okay. <laughs> Every time I see Ultima pop up, I'm worried if it's Kefka's Ultima, not right, the, yeah. uh, not his. Um, well, at least we know Kefka can't use elixirs. And we do have life three, so even if he kills somebody, they're going to come back except for Gogo, because it is a life three on Gogo. Oh yeah, must have uh, not got quite gotten that off on uh, Mog on the last round. Illumina, I believe, does not. Uh, I'm pretty sure it just always hits. I don't think it's uh, is it affected by blind. I believe not. Ooh, hyperdrive is a rough one to hit. And there is the charge for Goner, so now is the time to go all in, especially if you have if you have quick, not a bad idea. Although X Magic seems to be doing pretty good on its own. So yeah, it's gonna be about 40k, maybe a little bit under. Maybe not, okay, never mind. Closer to 25, 30. Might not be able to take him out in this one. Oh, never mind, there he goes. GG's to Kigalus. 12837 Hey, GG's man. Either I'm muted or everyone else is. <laughs> no, no, I'm just checking to make sure that uh the person we're gonna be rating here in a little bit is uh not doing an ultra sleep room. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but Kiggles, you there? I'm Oh. Can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Uh, kind of. Your mic's a little being eaten up a little bit, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, GG's. Um, that was a little behind the uh, the levels early on, and I think that hurt me. Yeah, you had a, a rough start. Um, finding uh, You found a lot of espers early on, but it took you a minute to find those characters. Uh, how did you feel once they started rolling in? Feel on what? Uh, once the characters started rolling in, uh, was that were you feeling a bunch of relief, or did you start to feel like some pressure to really speed things up? Um, I felt good when I came out of Narge that first time. That's when I started to feel good and see. But then at the end, trying to get that last Esper just took me too long. Yeah, I noticed uh, when you went into South Figaro, you saw Saban there, and you're just like, ah, this, I can't handle this right now, and, and left, which turned out to be good, since you went into uh, Ruin's End near the end to spend all your money. Yeah, we got there eventually, but yeah, it's like, you know, okay, okay, okay. It's like, ah, but that's just how it goes, I guess. Yeah, the only other option you had for Esper's would have been uh, Auction House, so what would you feel about Auction House? It's a crowd shoot, you know, I, you know, it's... Much of a time waste as any other place. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing was kind of gated behind GoGo. -Go. Like it, it was a pretty load-bearing uh, check uh, in this whole thing. But once, once, once you get it there, it 
all kind of flows in. Um, how did you feel about uh, the end being like you you were having Edgar still swinging that uh, Lumina around and it was doing some pretty pretty decent damage. Uh, were you were you happy with uh, the amount of power you had by the end there? I mean, I ultimately was fine. I mean, I don't. I I laughed hardly when Edgar one shouted uh, whatever that statue was. <laughs> I think everybody on one shot at uh, uh, Ultros in the head. Oh yeah, he got. That's pretty funny. He got murked. <laughs> oh, uh, I know it's uh well, GG's for you to uh, still go on and finish the uh, seat out. So regrets on that, and you did sub ninety. So you, I mean, you can't feel too bad. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it was you know a jet seat. I mean. I'm guessing my opponent got Ultima sooner than I did, and maybe he did that check to get the fixed dice and was jumping with that or something. And um, he was, I saw him playing earlier today, kind of stealthily, and, and he was going real fast. So and I knew I was in for a tough race. Yeah, Golden Shocker ran into uh, the character well a little bit before you, so was able to uh, to collect all the all the espers and stuff a little bit faster. But um, I don't know. I think. I think you had a couple of setbacks in the beginning, but I think you did a really good job of um, picking up the pace uh, once once the magic power started rolling in. This, yeah, this is how the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know? I mean, you win some, you lose some. It's all about racing, but you know, I still get to continue on in the lower bracket, so there's still some hope. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I think the only diff, the big difference, I guess I could say on the checks and all. Uh, actually, no, you did you did the uh, Serpent Trench, right? Yeah, that's where I got my levels early. Did Shocker do the uh, Serpent Trench? She says it didn't. I don't believe so, no. Huh. Yeah, there know, wasn't too was much weird. deviation. Uh, it, a lot of it happened at different times, but there were a lot of... Uh, you guys picked a lot of the same stuff, which kind of makes sense, because like I said, there was very few options available at the beginning yeah i mean the only big difference is that he did dream which got him two espers okay i was thinking um how early did he do um ancient castle because that having the two eggs be eggs that would have just you know set him off not that much earlier than you actually yeah not that uh, much earlier than you no i want to say 10 okay. minutes okay. but did do uh the throne pretty early and then just kind of noped out of it uh, for a while, didn't go back for um, the ancient castle until I want to say like around minute 30, 35, something like that. Yeah, he yeah. did He did early engine room, but waited to go back to ancient castle much later. I mean, the only thing I can say is like you did the try touch check and he did and he did the dream. That's like the only big difference, really. Uh, Mount um, Zozo also, it looks like. Um, oh, and you did Mount Zozo, which, which I would have done myself, too. And you got Karen, which is a decent Esper, too. So. Game Esper hunt. You know, it's like characters, characters. Come on. <laughs> That's true. And you also found Sabin, too. <laughs> yeah, you have more characters. Yeah, chat pointing out something that I do want to say that conductors were mean tonight. Uh, both of you had a really oh, rough yes. time in oh, no. in the zone eater, which stings all the more when it's something that you have to go and do. But yeah, I mean, I got knocked up a few times. I mean, I did a run earlier today and just went straight through. So yeah, they took golden five times to get through the conductors. So you did a little bit faster than they did. Yeah, it still didn't feel like that is, but whatever. It's a bummer. It's stay down there. <laughs> it's even more of a bummer when you fall down there and it's like a tonic or something. It's like, oh, great, cool. Um, anything else before we uh, wrap things up here? Um, no, I'm just um, yeah, you used to Golden Shocker, and thanks to the Restream crew for putting this on. Yeah, thank you for running. I'm glad you were here to put on the show. Yes, thank you. Uh, there's been anything to uh, add before we wrap things up here? We throw it to our raid here. Everybody just stay tuned for our raid. Uh, not too much. Uh, looks like uh, some of the, the 
racers and uh, the restream team are getting thrown up in the chat definitely uh, go check them out we're, we're we're all playing this pretty frequently um and it's it's a lot of fun come hang out and chat about video games while we're doing this the the restream team in particular is fantastic i i have to i can't i can't compliment ceiling cat or franklin enough uh for for the work that they put into this they're they're really something else and haven't uh, i'm always happy to have a uh, new com t i don't i'm not sure if if we've had a a, a stream together before but you have a really good time no, uh, commentating with you oh you definitely. Good job. Same. same with you i appreciate it but yeah as terms was said uh please follow our two runners tonight kigalus and golden shocker on their twitches we got a restream team of course with uh, myself super wolf gaming two m's in gaming turds Vince, ceiling cat and franklin who actually goes under frazian 86 on twitch I want to thank them all for joining us tonight. Uh, we are going to raid uh, Elastoid. Elastoid is not, I repeat, not doing an Ultras League. They're doing a different kind of async, like a weekly async. So we're going to turn it over to them on the raid. So thank you for joining us and have a good night. Have a good night, everybody.